Grevenance. All right, welcome back. Uh, gone is the really nice uh, sunset and the color that we saw, but kind of just make it out to that is the moon here in the southwestern sky. Hopefully we clear out these clouds uh, over the next few days. We will, uh, but because we've got the moon, we've got Venus, Saturn and Jupiter all clustered together in the southwestern sky. Warm day today after a chilly star 44 in Helena and thank you. We've got uh, Venus and there's the moon, Saturn and then also that is Jupiter right there. I'm going to get out of the way because uh, that's a, a pretty awesome shot of three planets with the moon that everybody should be able to see over the next few days. Warm day in Great Falls at uh, 38 right now. Highs were in the 40s. Crazy 8 still up in Glasgow. Haver, a balmy 17 degrees. Well, considering where we've been over the last few days, 17 is pretty warm. The Arctic air mass is moving out. A warmer air mass is moving in. Perhaps you have heard of a Chinook wind uh, here in Montana. Yeah, the down sloping wind coming uh, down off of the mountains of the Continental Divide. Chinook meeting snow eater and uh, saw some melting going on with uh, the down sloping wind creating warmer temperatures. High wind warning continues for the Rocky Mountain fronts. Now the rest of the state will get a little windy tomorrow, but not high wind warning criteria and certainly Thankfully, not as windy as it was last week on uh, Wednesday. And then the wind will still be around on Thursday. A chilly wind before the wind dies down a little bit Thursday evening, but maybe some gusts up to 80 miles per hour here. And if anybody's traveling northwest Montana, Polson, Kalispell, Big Fork over around Libby, Troy, Yak, Superior, Hot Springs, there will maybe a little freezing rain and some snow tomorrow morning here. On the radar, not much going on. Maybe a couple of snow showers up there in Glacier. Sweetgrass Hills picking up maybe a couple of flakes. Got a few flakes into the Ohio River Valley and a couple of raindrops southwestern part of the country, but pretty quiet here for the time being. Uh, so this next storm will produce a little snow into the mountains and a little mix of some freezing rain and snow northwest Montana, but the northeast part of the state Five, six o'clock, we may get a little burst of some snow up there around Glasgow. But uh, tomorrow, as this front goes through, we'll have a couple of mixed rain and snow showers into the afternoon. And then with colder air coming through, some snow showers maybe across the north central part of the state here uh, late tomorrow evening. But not a lot of snow accumulating, except west of the Continental Divide into the mountains here, some pretty good snow. So. There may be a little burst of some snow tomorrow evening, but heading through the weekend, look at all that snow west of the Continental Divide here. Little to nothing east of the Divide. Here's the forecast for tonight. Warmer air pushing eastward. Great Falls not even getting below the freezing point, but Harlem at three. Some places in northeast Montana could be down below zero. And again, a little snow into the wee hours of the morning up here in the northeast part of the state. But tomorrow, even Glasgow warming up close to 40 degrees, so that warm air takes over. We'll have a couple of mixed rain and snow showers for Thursday. Some snow showers in and around the mountains, including around Helena. A cooler day, but uh, we will have some sunshine Friday. More of the same, a little breeze, but not too bad for December. And heading into Saturday, there will be some snow west of the Continental Divide. Seven day forecast for Helena, a little warmer tomorrow, cooler Thursday and Friday before we warm back up into the 40s this weekend here for a lot of the state.